Texas Governor Greg Abbott has been sending migrants from Texas that was coming across the border up north to Chicago for some time now. These migrants have been coming into Chicago and they've been going into shelters. And these shelters, a lot of these shelters are not clean. These migrants are coming in with all kinds of um, diseases. We're just coming from, we're just coming out of the COVID situation. A lot of these migrants are not vaccinated. They're not vaccinated for just uh, common stuff that, that you can get rid of, like the measles and different things. And now there's outbreaks occurring across Chicago. And one of the outbreaks that they're talking about now is measles. And they're saying that measles is the number one killer uh, for children. And it's real bad. And they're saying that um, you can get it. All somebody has to do is basically cough on you. And you can, you know, you can get the measles. And they're now really trying to quarantine some of these people. But it's gotten so bad. Check this out. Measles is an airborne that spreads easily through the coughs, sneeze of infected people. Measles can be serious and fatal for young children, as it can lead to pneumonia, blindness, diarrhea, swelling of the brain, and even death. It is the leading cause of death in children. Measles can spread fast in places where people are not vaccinated. Anyone who is not protected against measles, especially children, are at a risk of getting infected. This is the reason why it is of great importance to be up to date on vaccinations. Well, measles is looked at as a very old disease. And it was said that we were supposed to have eradicated measles around 2000, 2001. But we're wondering how is it still a problem now? Well, let's check out and listen to what the news is telling us. Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John Lapook is here. Uh, Dr. John, Morning. thank you for being here. So why? Why are we seeing these outbreaks? Mm. Well, there are these pockets of people who are unimmunized, and that happens every few years for whatever reason, right? The way they get infected, the way the outbreak starts, is they go outside the country generally, and where measles is more prevalent, and they get infected there, they come back here, and they start an outbreak, because remember, you can be infectious for four days before you even oh. know you have, before, before you, you get that symptoms. rash. Be oh. Well, you can have some symptoms before you get that rash. Yeah. Before then, you may have some cold-like symptoms. They oh, I have a cold, no big deal. Then you get the rash, and you've exposed a ton of people, and it's so infectious that if you are not immunized, there's about a 90% chance, if you're next to somebody who has measles, that you're going to come down with measles and the virus can actually stay alive for a couple of hours in a room, even after the person's left the room. Oh. Well, now they're saying that these measles could last uh, anywhere from 7 to 10 days. And during that time, if these people are not quarantined, they're touching stuff, they're coughing on things, and it, start, it, it will spread like wildfire. You got to remember, these people, when they come from these foreign countries, they're not privy to certain vaccinations that you can get that can um, deter you from uh, catching measles or can actually kill it before it gets a chance to manifest itself all over the place. So now they're coming here sickly. And a lot of them, they're closing down the migrant shelters. They're being put out the migrant shelters back out into the streets. So now while they're back out into the streets, they're, and they're, they're living in alleyways. They're living on payments. They just, you know, they're touching doors, they're coughing. It's just, oh man, it's just crazy. And man, listen, it can get real bad because a lot of these people, they might not stay in Chicago. They might go elsewhere and just take it elsewhere. But let's look at um, what Fox what Fox 32 was telling us about the migrant shelter. We'll come right back. Health officials detecting a second case of measles right here in Chicago, and it is traced to a migrant shelter in Pilsen. Fox 32's Joni Lum reports medical teams were sent to determine if this disease has spread. Two measles cases on two sides of the city. Health officials identified one is a child living at a shelter in Pilsen for new arrivals. Health officials are there to vaccinate the other residents. There was a police presence outside the shelter at Halstead and Cermak. Residents are not allowed to leave unless they are vaccinated for measles as health teams investigate. 25th Ward Alderman Byron Sigcho Lopez said in a statement that he visited the shelter Tuesday. 1,876 people live there, including 95 toddlers between the ages of one and two. So in this migrant shelter, you have over a thousand migrants living there in this 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 like four story building. So and like I said, there's a measles outbreak, man. And they that the CDC is on their way to Chicago to do an investigation. 
but they're not really fu fully sure because you have so many uh, uh, migrants that's out on the streets. We didn't even get to New York City yet because some of these migrants are coming from the same place and they've been split. Some are going to uh, Chicago, some are going to New York City. So they they didn't they haven't even unleashed or told us what's going on in, in the Big Apple. So now, right now, the whistle is being blown on what's happening here in Shot uh, there in Shot Town, but. Um, uh, uh, CBS Chicago wasn't finished. They're doubling down on what they're saying with the C with the CDC coming in. Check this out. Right now at four, the CDC showing up in Chicago after multiple measles cases reported at a migrant shelter here. What they're telling city leaders today in an effort to contain the spread. The CDC is on the way to the migrant shelter in Pilsen, where we are told the majority of recent measles cases in the city have originated. Some asylum seekers inside are now under quarantine as many migrants face eviction from shelters in just a few days. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is live from that shelter for us with what we know so far. Sabrina. Marie, the CDC says they're here at the request of the city and state to figure out what kind of technical support they need to get this outbreak under control. Now, right now, four of the five cases that we know about here in the city of Chicago have been traced back to this shelter, the largest migrant shelter in the city. Now, we're still waiting to hear from the state of Illinois as well as from the Chicago Department of Public Health on requests that they have of the CDC and next steps that they want to combat this outbreak. Previously, Mayor Brandon Johnson have said there would be a 20 day quarantine process for those who are affected in conjunction with outreach and increased vaccination opportunities for asylum seekers that are unvaccinated. Health officials have told CBS2 that nearly 900 migrants at the Pilsen shelter that did not have prior evidence for immunity have since been vaccinated. 700 were found to be already immune. Now, according to this latest data we've been able to analyze from the city, which was released on Friday, almost 1,900 people are staying at this shelter here in Pilsen. That leaves around 300 people, based on those numbers, unvaccinated and not immune to an extremely contagious illness. We spoke with the CDC today ahead of their visit to the shelter, asking what they'd like to provide once they got here. What the city and state have asked us to do is provide technical assistance, making sure that if they have questions about who should be vaccinated, who should be quarantined, who should be isolated, they have people on the ground providing that. Uh, making sure they have enough vaccine supply, making sure if there's laboratory testing that's needed, that that gets shipped to the right facilities to be able to turn around those tests really quickly. And we've had our eyes peeled to see when the CDC might enter into the shelter here on Halstead. Meanwhile, all of this is happening while the city plans to evict a few migrants at least from this shelter. At last check, it was about 5,000 people. We do not know how many people have moved out of the shelter since that check by Saturday. We reached out to the mayor's office to see if they have any update, any urgency to try to delay that deadline even further. They said they would have some sort of announcement by the end of this week. For now, we're live in Pilsen. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you. Well, if this thing gets out of control and gets airborne and really start going crazy in Chicago, maybe spread into Detroit, if it's if if it um, lifts up its, its nasty head up in New York City, it can mess up the whole East Coast uh, corridor from Boston down to Philly, Jersey, uh, uh, DC, uh, Mer uh, DC, Baltimore, Virginia. It can mess up the whole thing. It can get really out of control. And now you have a whole line of people across the country getting vaccinated. Um, I can get the whole thing, a whole bunch of stuff I can say about that, but I'm not. Oh, man, it's 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 crazy that we were uh, we've been arguing about the Democrats and about voting, you know, putting the right per putting the right person in office to stop this situation from happening from these migrants just coming up here and they putting them in the black community and we don't have no say so uh we have so many uh black homeless people and uh they put them in they building low income housing just for the migrants and giving them all these rights but then the migrants are coming here sick and now there's a possibility that these migrants that's coming here sick may have the possibility now of getting african-american sick and other and other groups as well sick this is a big problem, man. And we can't like just let this sweep under the rug because measles can kill your children. This is something that's real serious, that needs to be taken serious. And the people, the people should be outraged, outraged 
So now the CDC is trying to get a hold of this. But I'm telling you, they, they, they have migrants that they have migrants that's testing positive for measles in Chi-Town, but they're not even mentioned in New York City. What about the migrants that's down there in Texas? Like, you know, this thing can get this thing can get real ugly real fast. Real fast. And this is the type of stuff that we should be paying attention to, man. But as more of this come out, I'll cover more of this. I'll talk more of it. I'm going to check in on New York City and see what's going on over there uh, uh, in regards to this situation. But leave your comments in the comment section, man. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. And remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.